Alright guys, welcome back. This is Psycho as always, and today we're looking at the brand new Minecraft snapshot that just came out recently. This is uh, snapshot 13w16a. It's the first snapshot uh, for upcoming features in the development of 1.6. As you can see, I'm here in a house, or is it? There's horses in the game now, guys. Yep, we're here on a uh, test world. Oops. And uh, I just wanted to show off the new features coming into the game. So first up, right here, we have the brand new horse mob. Um, this is based on the work of John Olart, a.k.a. Dr. Zark, of uh, the Mo Creatures mod pack for Minecraft. Uh, so there's horse integration now into the game and you can tame your own horse and they come in many different colors and sizes and they each represent uh, each type of horse represents a different uh, amount of health and speed they run at uh, so it's pretty cool uh, there's lots of options to them uh, let's see uh, new also to the game we have the hay blocks uh, there's no crafting recipe for them just yet and I should mention, um, horses as of the snapshot are only obtained via spawn egg. Don't know how they spawn or anything yet. Uh, but these are the bales of hay, and they don't actually have an item name yet from the inventory, as you can see. But they can be placed just like any other block, and just like tree logs, actually. You can place them either vertically or on their side, like so, just like that. Um, so I've actually already tamed a horse here, which I've nicknamed Bully. This is my noble steed, Bully. And he's actually wearing some iron armor. And uh, I'll show you guys how to make that, but first I'll show you how you go about taming a horse, and how about you can go about riding one. So if you just, uh, if you find a horse in the wild, such as this donkey right here. <laughs> uh, to start taming it, you go up to it and you right click it. And left shift is dismount. And to get. Oh, I was dismounted there, but that was not me. Uh, to tame the horse, you have to right click it a bunch of times until eventually it comes under your control. And he's going to kick you off a couple times until you get control of him. And he'll kick his legs up like that. Come on, buddy. Oh, there we go, he's ours, because we got that uh, bar underneath the health there. So you can just dismount now. And now that he's ours, uh, we can't ride him until we make um, a special horse saddle. So this is the horse saddle recipe right here. Uh, it's five pieces of leather and three pieces of iron, and it creates the horse saddle. So let's just make that real quick. Oops. Uh, like that. Horse saddle. And we can mount up. You go up to your newly befriended steed and you right click it and you saddle it up. So now we can go about riding a donkey. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, so it moves with WASD controls, like uh, normal character movement. And uh, it's a lot faster than normal walking speed. I'd say. Uh, Let's just set it to day really quick. Time set day. Um, the donkey, I believe, moves slower than the other horse types, but he's got more health. You can see the health icon to the right of my health. And uh, they have a jumping mechanic where they just jump if you press space. Uh, they will automatically run up one block high inclines. Uh, but if you hold down space and release, uh, try to get into that yellow zone. It's kind of like a uh, like a golfing game simulation type thing. And if you get it into the yellow, you do a really big jump. It's kind of tricky to do. Oh, there we go. I did it there. Oh, there we go. There, did it again. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back. 
And yeah, they will go up one block high things by themselves, which is pretty cool. All right. Uh, also added to the game is the lead, which I've got right here in my hand. It doesn't have a name yet, just as of currently. Uh, but with lead in hand, you go up to any animal. Doesn't have to be a horse, and you right-click it, and you tie it to yourself, and it will follow you around. And you can tie it up to things like fence posts right here. Oops. <laughs> like so. Like so. No, don't want to be tied up. Why can't I let go? There we go. Well, that was weird. Uh, normally, you can tie up your uh, noble steed to the pole. It's not working. Well, you just saw it a moment ago. I don't know why it's not working now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's the lead. Uh, oh, so to armor up your new newfound steed friend, uh, there's three different types of armor that they can wear. Uh, Bully over here is wearing the iron armor set, but they're all crafted very similar. Uh, the gold one is uh, crafted with a red block surrounded by gold, like this, like a J shape. J for Jeb! It's a conspiracy! Like so. Oh, hello, Mr. Pig. And the iron one is also crafted just the same similar fashion. J for Jeb. <laughs> and same thing with the diamond. And again, the corresponding type obviously increases the uh, potential of uh, your steed's hit points. So let's find our donkey friend. Where did he go? Ah. Let's throw some diamond armor on him. So you just get on him. Or not. Doesn't want to... You don't want to wear the... Oops! Okay, do not punch him. Do not punch him. Well, it should be applying. For some reason it's not. Oh, okay, we put the <laughs> diamond armor on Bully, so now Bully is fully decked out. And Bully has a lot more HP, as you can see. Oh, oh, it's cool, you get your armor back. Whoops. Now he doesn't want to move. Come on, Bully. Come on. You, you don't like me now? As you can see, the snapshot's still kind of buggy. Maybe he doesn't like that I was riding the donkey. Who who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's try putting a saddle on him again. Oh, there we go. He lost the saddle. That's what it was. We'll, we'll just borrow a demonstration frame. That's kind. Of, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Oh, now we're moving. Oh, it doesn't doesn't fit there. Okay, we'll go back this way. Right on, bully, right on. Um, yeah, so this type of horse seems to move a lot faster. Really easy way to get around. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, it should be noted that you can have normal combat mechanics while riding on a horse. You can equip a sword and slash at things. Whoops. Just like so. You can even shoot a bow while riding on horseback. Could make for some pretty sweet uh, jousting and uh, medieval warfare battles. That'd be a lot of fun, I think. A lot, a lot of fun. 
Uh, there's actually a couple more things in the snapshot uh, left to show you, but this is the coolest stuff, of course. So we'll just dismount, try to tie building back up here. Ah, uh, doesn't want to work. Okay. Have fun, Billy. Um, there's also a uh, carpet added to the game now. Crafted with a type color of wool. Uh, two pieces will make a single piece of carpet. And I've got some wool in a chest here to show you. Let me just put it down, craft it like so. Again, any type of color will make the carpet. And what this does is you can put down uh, any wool carpet color of your choice on top of any solid block. So you can spice up your home <laughs> without having to make the floor out of red wool. And it's actually one pixel taller than uh, than before. So it's it kind of cool. Adds a little bit more depth and character to your space, I guess. Uh, finally, there's one more change. Uh, add, oh, actually. Um, let's see if I can do this. I think if you're on your horse, you can right-click it with a spawn horse. Yes. And you can have another baby horse. And uh, with the baby horse, I, I, uh, Colt? Full? One of those two. But you can make them grow up to adulthood by feeding them wheat. And each piece of wheat makes them bigger and bigger, as you can see, until they're finally full adulthood. Oh, and there should have been, um, when I was taming the donkey, there should have been hearts appearing, but I have my particles off, I just realized, so that's why that wasn't showing up. There might be particles for them growing up, too, but... Well, yep, so that's how you grow a horse up. Can I put armor on him? No, okay. Yeah, they have to be tamed. Uh, finally, the one last thing in the snapshot to show. Where's my demonstration spot? Mr. Donkey, hello! Uh, uh, we'll just pick a spot right over here. Uh, we're just gonna break the ice here because oops because now when you put on a respiration helmet well, I'll show you in the water normally oh, I'll just get out of there let's break some more really quick Normally in the water, it's uh, pretty dark and murky, but if you put a respiration helmet on now, uh, it lights up under the water so you can see a little easier. Kind of like how a potion of night vision works. Oh, I'm going to get stuck under the ice. Kind of like how a potion of night vision works. So that's pretty cool. Adds uh, the ability to see underwater. And yeah. So that's it for the changes uh, for this snapshot for the first snapshot for 1.6. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's it from me and from Bully and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>